from the pit. The crack of a revolver. A man hollers out. Agony in it. Then goes quiet. Well, so now you must be part of the entertainment. Oh, I don't know about that. Spirits alive, you fucking tart. <laughs> Requires a fighting pit sigil stone, so obviously there's Something here I gotta find. Huh. You. Guess it is time. As for the type of fighting pit built atop it long ago for power. I have a sigil stone. Key to get in, but I miss seeing pain. No fights in the pit right now. Special fight. Now, I want to see it. Pain. Fight in the ring, then I'll tell you, yeah? Bribe him. No money, no need. Pain the only currency. God damn it. Good, show me. Maximum pain. Ugh. Ow. Ow. Oh! <laughs> Maximum pain to myself. Oh, I'm in here. Oh. Reload! Oh, good lordy. Need assistance. Friend, I got a little problem and could use your muscle. Meet me at the campsite in Joe's hideaway. Better hustle. Meet Joe at Joe's hideaway. Do I have to go there right now? Like, is this... Like a come right now emergency or what? I'm looking for a fight. I just had a fight. No, I don't want to look for a damn fight. Hell yeah. Another, I can get another power. Hunting wraiths, a guidebook by the dagger and bones. A wraiths most often a wraiths most often to be found in places long abandoned, but they may also be summoned by witches of any sort and can summon in turn the legions of the dead. Kill the wraith first, lest ye be overwhelmed by zombies, and take note, hunter. <clears throat> Such spirits feel not the heat of a flame. Fire will not touch the beast. Purified, I almost felt something. Here, the sigil stone. My quarter is underneath the root. We count on you to, su to succeed. The suffering is too great. That's what he means by we. You will learn, but not now. Leave. Have new pain instruments to try. I like demon voice. Save just in case. <clears throat> 
case I was supposed to go to Joe right away. I don't want to accidentally let him die. Oh, okay, it's a wraith. It is a wraith. Both of them damn zombies. Oh, that guy's dead. Thanks for the help, Jonathan. Appreciate it. Oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to reload. Certainly don't want Jane to die. Stupid bitch, die. <laughs> Look at that, we live. Oh, she used her special power to fucking have a little buddy. Oh, he's not a buddy anymore. Woo! Hoo Well, thanks anyways, buddy. It always sucks to lose a guy. At least we didn't lose what's her face, and even if I did, I would have restarted because I don't want her to die because I want to see what happens when they all live. All the main characters live. Alright. got no idea what you're doing, talker. Think your pig friends were good people? They don't deserve their souls. They'll wreak havoc if you free them. Think carefully about what you're doing. Ruth Bog. Whatever the hell her name is. Oh, I thought there was a fucking person laying in there. <laughs> There's nobody in there. Lockpick for what? There's nothing in there. Why would I waste lockpicks? Oh, look at that. Brown Leather Journal, Volume 2. Ramblings of an unbalanced mind seems like thoughts cut off mid-sentence words scribbled out strange doodles of dis Dismembered corpses, but over time they start to focus notes on a ritual Runes found in the runes below the pit and sketches of the statue labeled nymph something to pass the time Brown leather journal volume one covers cracking with age page closes the crumbling at the touch close to crumbling at the touch Hard to read the text, a sharp hand and a harsh shorthand known only to the writer. One word repeats again and again, pain. Oh, 
Another volume four. So much scribbled out in fury and frustration, it's almost impossible to read. Another repeated phrase over and over. More. Need more. More. After that, pages and pages of spattered blood. How long was this going on? Uh, brand new, almost pristine scripts, much neater now. The ritual is more refined. A little amusement to pass the time. The diagrams have gotten more detailed, too. One figure haunts long after the book's shut. Claws, fangs, and an insatiable urge to kill. But the pages are clean, still waiting for the beast's next outing. paper, excitement in the words, a spark of something not felt in years, and diagrams of the runes of the beasts they summoned, and the bodies they left behind. Anything to get a reaction. Right, I think that's about all there is. Pigman, old friend, you ain't got cooked yet. I gotta say, I'm glad. Hold on. It just hit me, a talking pig. I feel a joke coming on. Listen. <laughs> a pigman walks into a saloon. Bartender says, we don't serve your kind here, snout. Now get. <clears throat> pigman looks at the bartender and says, thought this is the place folks came to wallow. There you go, friend. Now just cover that snout next time here. Getting, sn getting snot everywhere. Listen, I got big news. I ain't found that immortal Aleph yet. But I got a bead on what to do when I finally find the sucker. It's old magic from the ancients called soul transference. But two and two together, pigman. I find Aleph, I can trade souls. <clears throat> Get that body for my own. Say adios to death for good. That's why I'm here. Need a branch from the soul tree to make it work. Pain here has been a treat about it, ain't you, Pain? Ask why he wants to be immortal. My, my, you are a curious pig. I'd almost think you was trying to be my friend. Well, I'll tell you, but I want to know something else first. That room with the five portraits, where was it? What'd you see? Describe the room with five portraits. Reveal nothing about the room. Underground, that brand painted on the floor, a figure there with you. All right, pig. That gives me some ideas. I appreciate that. As for immortality, you've killed people, ain't you? Sure you have, but answer me this. You have been up real close to somebody when they took their last breath? Well, I have, and I'll tell you this much. Ain't no other word, ain't no, ain't no other world they head to. No eternal light, no, it's dark all the way yeah. down. I can't abide that, and I don't plan to. That's enough gut spilling for one day, Pigman. I'm friendly, but I ain't that friendly soul transference. It ain't a pretty trick, ugly magic, but it'll do. You gotta jam a branch from the soul tree straight into the sucker's heart, speak an incantation, and trap their soul in a special vessel. Still working out those last two bits, but I'm close as far as the branch goes. Pain here was nice enough to lend me a burnt twig. A rather pedestrian form. Oh, dude. Timothy Barnes. See, trigger finger, accept follower. There we go. We already got a new person to take Jonathan's spot. Who needs Jonathan? Uh, to destroy a Ridgeback by Justinian Abernathy. Ye have read that a Ridgeback be a creature of poisons and venoms most foul, distributed upon an expulsion of the swarm. Know ye also now that that which ye must do to destroy this cursed creature, for they may only be eradicated by means of fire. It has been said that lightning from the heavens may also do the trick, but a campfire being less trouble to acquire than a lightning bolt, this text suggests keeping the former close to hand when proceeding. Fair warning, I'm grumpy most mornings. Cool. Uh, 
All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Meet Joe, we'll, we'll go help Joe. That's a fresh face, looks good on you. <laughs> hey passenger, I was hoping I'd run into you again. I have something you might be interested in. See, I found this talking book that contains the answers to the meaning of life and to all the metaphysical questions that you and every other human being ever had throughout the history of the world. I myself am out of the question that I really care about the answers to, frankly, but I figured someone like you might find it useful. Amir, $1,226. Interested? I see if you can get a good deal. Sorry, that's my best price. Come on, you know you want it. That's too bad. Maybe next time. Well, if you're light on coin, maybe I can offer you some entertainment instead. Nothing bites like the cold teeth of boredom after all, right? How about a bit of foretelling? Got this tarot deck I found at the bottom of a drawer. If you're up for it, I can give you a glimpse of what awaits down that treacherous path you venture on. All complimentary, too. What do you say? Sure, why not? Wonderful. Huzzah. Oh, hooray. Now let me give these here a quick shuffle. Manic shuffling. Okay, let's do this. Pick one of these three cards. Right. Ah, uh, you've drawn the fool. Wow, that's rude. Bad cards. Bad. Can't take the silly things anywhere, I guess. Now, let's pick your second card. Just going to shuffle these again. Gleeful shuffling. Okay, which one will it be this time? We'll do the middle. Oh, the pain collector, that old nasty. Wait, you haven't been hanging out at the fighting pit without me, have you? Hmm. Ready for the last one? I'll just shuffle these again. Excited shuffling. Now choose. Do the middle again. Let's see, you picked Judgment. Wow, that's some ominous. <coughs> well, you pulled some interesting shit, pal. To be honest, though, I don't know jack about Terra. You'll probably have a fascinating road ahead of you, or maybe not. Only time will tell. <laughs> On a different topic, I saw you glance at my chest earlier. You're not too subtle, are you, snicker? Never let it be said that I'm not overflowing with generosity. Go on, take a look, and as usual, you can keep whatever you find inside. He is hoping it's something good. Hey, I was looking for that. Oh, fine, I guess you can keep it. You just said I can have what's in the chest. What? Lightning in a bottle, copper blade thing. Empty barrel, empty barrel. All right, we out. Continue forth to help Joe. A glow among the trees. Nothing good comes of drifting light in the wilderness. Oh, good. It's probably a fucking more damn what are they wraiths or whatever snarls ow That, you disgust me. What? Why are you helping me then? Glowing crystal ashes. 
Uh, I may disgust you, but I'm glad you lived. <coughs> to go to the friggin' town and sell some shit. Also need some more friggin' bandages. I know what I've been doing out here. <laughs> What's up, Joe? Thank floods you came. Can you help, friend? I'm going insane. This r this rhyming curse, it's got to end. Uh, for help. See, a while back I made a deal. Found a wraith who made an offer I thought was a steal. Just a soul from out my chest to become the best poet in all the West. <laughs> Problem is, came with a snag. This rhyming shit is driving me mad. That wraith's still out there, holding my soul. If you can kill him, I can be whole. Okay. Search for Joe's wraith and Yeb's knuckle. Yeb's knuckle. Alright, I'll go to Yeb's knuckle after I fucking hit Grackle. Outlaws with toothless grins, the sons of bitches. Looky here. Hey, game, you got a new cut. Welcome to Cartwheel Cowboy Territory, friend. The fine for trespassing is, let's say, $508. How about it's free if I blow y'all away? Eat corpse. Does that make me like turn evil or something? I don't want to like get evil points for eating a fucking corpse. That'd be annoying. Full. Get so much goodies. to grackle, hopefully. <laughs> Q. 
keep a close eye on your dead. Oh my god. You just fucking doing shit and all of a sudden Wraith summons zombies and it's like, oh hey look, there's the sh there's the sheriff. Or there's the deputy. Oh, I gotta sell stuff. Gotta get the gold ore out of there so I can upgrade my weapons and then Oh my god. Uh, what time is this? Seriously, like. This is a damn fucking saloon, God. I hate this shit. Just make stores be open all the time, damn it. I like how one bed is $10 and then one bed's $15. Why? What? What just happened? I don't even. That was dumb. Whatever just fucking. <laughs> I jumped and what? Did I hit someone on accident? Like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Stupid. Look, a piggy. <sighs> All right, fucking don't jump. I might jump on someone and hurt him. Stupid bullshit. So, so, so. So, 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 so. So. Sale! Alright, sell all them. Bullshit. Alright, go to the general store, sell some shit. She has like an extra one on the desk that I can buy, but not this time. All right, let me go get. Let me go get some stuff off the horse. The oars. Oh, I need to read that map. trying to put this all on the horse. 
Actually, I can put it in the horse and then take it myself. Needs a better weapon. Transfer that. Give me that gun. Please. Let's find out. Gold sharps, a quick iron, gold machete, gold stub, double barrel, gold bolt action. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Well, that's pretty good. Got a freaking gold revolver. Seven silver nuggets to upgrade the bow. Thirty-nine, forty-two medium range and slow attack. Medium range, average attack. Critical damage increased by 30. Uh, there. there we go. I was like, I kind of swore. Keep that for him. Right, take this. Sell the tonics too. Sell that. Maybe the nurse lady buys the tonics. That she does, alright. Alright. I think we've done just about everything I can do here that I need to do here. Hoping maybe he had some bandages for sale. And I think I have copper ore. One copper nugget. Hundred and 
155 bucks. Right next to us too. Save real quick.